What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting Luma Fusion video. I'm Rob HK. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can organize your files with Luma Fusion and it's super easy to do and a lot of you guys are probably doing it already. But if you don't know, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you exactly how we organize files for Luma Fusion, how I organize files for Luma Fusion to speed up your workflow and to make everything a lot easier when you're gonna edit. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and let's organize some files for LumaFusion. Roll that intro. So this is usually the way that I organize my files with LumaFusion. Now let's first take a look at LumaFusion itself. I put everything back to normal. So what you will see now is the basic of what you will see on your iPad when you open up LumaFusion. So here we have the project and let's go over to source and to our photos. Once we get into photos, you can see that you have the basic things that's on your iPad. You have the video, moments, albums, share albums, favorites, recently added media types, downloaded media, and so on. But we need to organize our files, so we want to change this. So if we go back out to the iPad and then over to our photos app, we tap on the plus sign, which is on the top left and create a new album. Let's say that you have some B-roll that you shot for your vlog and you want to separate the B-roll from the vlogging. So what you can do here is to make a new folder and choose the name B-roll. Once you've done that, you can simply go over to your albums or to your photos or videos that is located on your iPad then select all the videos or photos and tap done. This will automatically take the marked photos and videos and put it into that folder. And you can do the same for the rest of your footage. So let's say you have some vlogging footage that you want to use uh, with that B-roll. You do the exact same thing. You make a new folder and you pick vlogging as the folder name. So once we go over to LumaFusion again, we simply go into the albums folder. So once we get into the albums folder, we can scroll down and we will see the folder that we just created on our photos app on the iPad. And inside that folder, you will find every single video file and photo file that you added to that folder. But don't worry if you think this is gonna fill up because after you edited your video in LumaFusion, you can simply delete that folder. Deleting that folder will not delete your photos or videos, it will only remove the folder from your iPad. So you will still have the same videos and photos on your iPad but the folder that you just created will be gone and you can simply continue doing this on your future projects as well and if you have a big project let's say you have a review video that you're gonna make you can make a folder which is named the, uh, the review b-roll and then the talking part and you have the cinematic part you have the unboxing part and this will really help you organize your files with LumaFusion and it will definitely speed up your workflow because you will not have to look for the video files or the photos that you added to your iPad. And let's say if you film a lot of stuff over a couple of days before you want to sit down and edit that video or those videos. That means if you film for a couple of days, you will have so much video to go through and you will have a struggle to find the video files and the photos that you want to use. So if you sit down and take some time sorting out the videos and the photos for the specific parts of the video that you're gonna create, you will have a lot smoother workflow when you're gonna edit LumaFusion. So that's how easy it is to organize your files with LumaFusion. Open the Photos app 
and uh, make some folders, add the folder name of vlog, cinematic, b-roll, drone shots, video, whatever the name you want it to be and you select the photos and the videos that you want to put in that folder and done and you go over to LumaFusion, go to albums and you find the album that you just created and you're good to go. Simple organization for your LumaFusion workflow when editing long videos, short videos, b-rolls, whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, smash that notification bell. And don't forget to check out my Selfie page if you want to spice up your LumaFusion videos with transitions, sound effects, LUTs, and uh, overlays and all that. I also got something for Premiere Pro as well. If you're using Premiere Pro to finish off your LumaFusion project or to make your videos. But that's the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.